Today we're going to be looking at this graphic design software called Canva. And so it's literally www.canva.com. And you are going to sign up with email. You actually shouldn't have to do anything other than put your email in. So I'm going to make a fake one. Well, all right, so I'm going to put my name is Ms. Campbell. My email and password. Now you can make up a password, but it, um, I mean, you will have to make up a password. You need to write these things down. Your username is the email address. You'll use your school email address. Let me go back. Um, it'll ask you what you are using Canva for. You will be a student. And it has a way you can collaborate on things, but we're not going to do that right now. So you're going to skip. And then, you know, it says design anything. And it's going to give you like little things um, that will teach you different things. Okay, so I want you to play around with a poster first. And I you can pick any one of these like example posters and I want you to play around with changing it. Okay. So like making changes. So you're editing. So it'll tell you all these things like edit an element, click on it. A toolbar will appear above. So if I decide that I think this background color is ugly, then this is not the background color. It's going to be one of these pictures, right? And that's the text. So I'm going to hover over here, click on that. And then it gives you different things that you can do. You could copy the style, you could change the position, transparency. Um, you could add a link, I guess. But um, over here is where you actually change the color. So I click on color and make it something different, but yet something where you can still see what's going on without killing your eyes. All right. So Anyway, so that's how I would re change the color. Now let's say I think that this should be bigger. To resize something, you drag the corners and you can make it bigger. So I'm gonna make the hand bigger. Um, right now I'm not really paying attention to anything about whether design looks good. I'm just playing around with how I can move things. So with this little um, icon, that means I'm moving it, but this one means I'm tilting it so I can turn the soap upside down. You can get rid of something that you don't like and you can look up something else. So I can go to elements and I can search up hand washing and see if they have anything and look, I happen to like this one better than the original one. So you can um, switch out different types of things. Uh, you can change um, the font. So I've decided that this is okay, but I want to see if there's a different look that I might like better. There you go. So I've changed it. Now I want to change the text color. You know, so that's what I want you to do is kind of figure out, ah, here we go. This would not be a good color. That hurts my eyes. How about that? Okay, so I want you to play around with moving things around, substituting, just getting used to um, making changes to these designs, okay? Then if you want to, after you've kind of played around with one that already exists, and you want to start something new that's brand new. So in order to make something brand new, you go to file, create new. I'm going to create a poster. Mm, frames. I like some of these things. Um, I'm going to look up some photos and I'm going to search it for space. Okay. And then obviously this is the wrong direction. So see if you can fix that. Spaceships. Uh, 
Um, this one has, says remove watermarks because it is only available in the pro or paid for version. So if you see that little crown, then that means it's not free. Um, but there usually are some free things. Let's see. Now I'm going to do aliens. Anyway, so you get the idea. I just want you to play around with this without any particular result that I'm looking for today. We will get into more about graphic design and trying out specific art elements and principles um, next time.